today we're going to show you vMix, and this is how uh, vMix works with uh, with this pretty cool software. So here you see my uh, my vMix uh, dashboard here, and I'm going to go over to my uh, desktop as well and show you what we got going on there. As uh, I fade over to that, so this is the this is the software here. Uh, the live score so we're going to click on that we'll open it up and I'll show you how to basically import the graphic that it spits out into your vmix first off we want to choose our sport so we're going to do baseball today we're getting ready for a big baseball game here at the stadium so I thought why not uh, why not go ahead and show you guys how to do it as we set it up here so there you see, uh, I, I just hit reset game because we still had our data from last night in there. But uh, you see that we've got our teams entered in um, here on the game data. Um, and then you see um, over here, if you wanted to edit your colors, you're able to do so as well. So away team, for example, we, we've got them red because that's their team color and then uh, blue for the uh, Lexington team color which is the the client that we work for here today at the stadium so once you got all this set um, basically you can go in here and go to if you're not using the iPad app you can go to the sport control panel um, just hit start game and you'll be able to control all your different functions here so if you have you know for example strikes you're able to punch in strikes there um, it, it automatically keep up with your pitch count too if you select that in your options. Um, balls, you can put your ball count on there. Of course, uh, you're able to adjust the pitch count. Uh, people on base, your outs, and keep up with that as well. All through this control panel. Uh, again, you can also get the iPad app, and that's what we're using here at the stadium. So we've got somebody that that mans the iPad app. It's just basically touch and go. Uh, matter of fact, we hand it off to a student intern, and they're able to uh, basically take charge with that. It's it's very simple, easy to use, and uh, you know you you don't have to worry yourself as a as a producer um, knowing that that's easy to use, and uh, they'll be able to handle that particular job. Um, so how do you get this into your production? So how do you get your scoreboard overlay over there? Well, what you want to do is you want to come up here to output, and you're going to basically uh, go over here to image output. We've already got ours checked, but you want to make sure that yours is checked. Uh, generate image output. We'll do that. I'm just going to drag this over here, and you'll see my output here on a desktop. Um, what you may want to do first of all is uh, in your settings you can go to uh, game settings for example or excuse me you can go to um, scoreboard settings maybe let's see it's just under settings yeah there it is just under settings so you go under settings you go to output render and then you can name your path where you want that to go uh, where you want your image output to go so we just got ours to the desktop we got it under output PNG and then we just click save and that's why it's here on our desktop but you're able to do that under edit and settings so um, I'll switch back over here. What I'm going to do basically is I'm going to drag this file, just right or left click it and drag it over into my vMix. Let me show you the vMix window as we cut back over to that. So I'm going to drag this scoreboard overlay here. You see we do so. Now we got it in there, but how do we get it over the video input? Well, you do so by clicking on the settings. First off, you want to come up here and you want to say, I want to call this an overlay. We don't want it a preview because a preview is just another video input. If I was to click it the way it is now, it would just be the black background with the scoreboard to it uh, without it being on the video. So we're going to say video overlay. 
and then we're going to come over here to position you see now it's it's right here uh, not where I want it to be um, on our broadcast so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust where we want it to be now Y is going to move it up and down pan X is going to move it left to right so we like it in the bottom right hand corner which is pretty much standard for uh, for baseball broadcast some of them have them in the top corner but uh, most of them um, especially the big networks will have them right there in the lower right corner so once I get that set I'm just going to uh, exit out of this and now what will happen is I'm able to just click on that and it throws it over my video input so if I wanted to take some bars up here for an example I'll cut over to that um, you'll see my video input there now I'll cut back to show you the VK, uh, VMIX screen and if I wanted to take it off there I'm able to just do so by a click again that's not gonna happen unless you've got under your settings for that particular scoreboard uh, image there it's not gonna happen unless you've got overlay selected you have you can have up to four overlay selected uh, we choose to have this as overlay one um, but if I wanted to put it as preview I'll show you exactly what happens so if I do it as preview you see here on my preview screen that it's just a black background with the scoreboard in it so if I was to cut back over there that's all that I'm showing the viewers back at home watching but if I go back in here and I choose it to be an overlay and exit out of that then I can just click on it and there you see it so again that's how you do the uh, scoreboard overlay through vmix using the live score app Folks, pick it up. It's uh, very professional graphics, and uh, I highly suggest it from a production standpoint. This is William Warfield, the king of stream. Till next time, everybody.